If you're considering adding a lovebird to your family, you're in for a treat. These small and colorful birds are known for their playful personalities and affectionate nature, and they can make a wonderful addition to any home. In this video, you'll learn everything you need to know about getting a lovebird as a pet. From choosing the right lovebird for you to setting up their cage and providing proper care, we'll cover it all. We'll also share some tips and tricks for bonding with your lovebird and keeping them happy and healthy. So sit back and get ready to learn all about these amazing and affectionate birds. Whether you're a seasoned bird owner or new to the world of pet birds, we hope you'll find something useful in this video. Let's get started! Do lovebirds make good pets? Lovebirds can make great pets for the right person. They are small, colorful, and affectionate birds that are known for their playful and curious personalities. Lovebirds can be very social and enjoy interacting with their owners, and they are also intelligent and can be trained to perform simple tricks. However, lovebirds can also be high-maintenance pets and require a lot of care and attention. They need a large cage to accommodate their active nature and plenty of toys and other items to keep them entertained. Lovebirds also need a varied and nutritious diet and regular access to fresh water. In addition, lovebirds can be loud and may not be suitable for people who live in apartments or other close quarters. How long do lovebirds live for? Lovebirds typically live for 10 to 15 years when they are well cared for. However, their lifespan can be shorter if they are not provided with proper nutrition, housing, and medical care. It is important to provide lovebirds with a healthy diet consisting of a high-quality seed mix and fresh fruits and vegetables, as well as a spacious and well-ventilated cage. Lovebirds also require regular checkups with a veterinarian to ensure that they are in good health. By providing your lovebird with proper care and attention, you can help them live a long and happy life. What cage is best for lovebirds? The best cage for a lovebird is one that is spacious, well-ventilated, and easy to clean. Lovebirds are active and playful, and they need plenty of room to move around and play. A cage that is at least 24 inches long, 24 inches wide, and 24 inches tall is a good size for a single lovebird, while a cage that is at least 36 inches long, 24 inches wide, and 36 inches tall is a good size for a pair of lovebirds. It is also important to choose a cage that has plenty of ventilation, as lovebirds are sensitive to poor air quality and need plenty of fresh air. The cage should also have bar spacing that is small enough to prevent the lovebird from escaping or getting stuck, but large enough to allow for plenty of air circulation. In terms of material, a cage made of stainless steel or powder-coated metal is a good choice, as these materials are easy to clean and do not rust. It is also a good idea to choose a cage with a removable bottom tray for easy cleaning. Overall, the best cage for a lovebird is one that provides plenty of space, ventilation, and easy cleaning, while also being safe and secure for the bird. What food is the best for lovebirds? A high-quality seed mix is the foundation of a lovebird's diet. Look for a mix that contains a variety of seeds, including millet, canary seed, oats, and smaller amounts of sunflower seeds and safflower seeds. Avoid seed mixes that contain mostly sunflower seeds, as these can be high in fat and may contribute to obesity in lovebirds. In addition to seeds, lovebirds should be offered a variety of fresh fruits and vegetables on a daily basis. Some good choices include apples, pears, bananas, spinach, broccoli, and carrots. It is important to provide your lovebird with a constant supply of clean, fresh water and to clean and refill the water dish daily. Avoid feeding your lovebird avocado, chocolate, caffeine, alcohol, or any foods that are high in salt or sugar, as these can be toxic to birds. Also, avoid feeding your lovebird raw or undercooked beans, as these can contain a toxic substance called hemagglutinin. Overall, the best diet for a lovebird is one that is well-balanced and includes a variety of seeds, fruits, and vegetables. What kind of toys do lovebirds like? Lovebirds are playful and energetic, and they enjoy a variety of toys to keep them entertained. Some good toy options for lovebirds include chew toys, foraging toys, mirrors, swings, and ladders. Chew toys allow lovebirds to exercise their natural behavior of chewing and shredding, and can be made of materials such as wood, paper, or natural fibers. Foraging toys hide treats or seeds inside, encouraging lovebirds to hunt and search for food. 
Mirrors provide lovebirds with a way to see their own reflection and can be a fun and interactive toy, though it is important to supervise the lovebird to prevent them from becoming overly obsessed and stressed. Swings and ladders provide lovebirds with opportunities to swing and climb, and should be chosen in the appropriate size and made of sturdy and secure materials. Overall, the best toys for lovebirds are those that provide mental and physical stimulation and allow the lovebird to exercise their natural behaviors. Do lovebirds need a friend? Lovebirds are social creatures and typically thrive in pairs. They bond closely with their mate and can become very attached to them. In the wild, lovebirds form strong pair bonds and mate for life, and they often display similar behaviors in captivity. If you are considering keeping a lovebird as a pet, it is important to understand that they do require daily interaction and attention to keep them happy and healthy. If you are unable to provide your lovebird with the daily attention and interaction they need, it is a good idea to consider getting a second lovebird as a companion. That being said, it is also possible for lovebirds to bond with their human caregivers and become very attached to them. If you are able to provide your lovebird with the daily interaction and attention they need, it may not be necessary to get a second lovebird. However, it is still a good idea to provide your lovebird with plenty of toys and activities to keep them entertained and stimulated. Overall, whether or not a lovebird needs a friend will depend on the individual bird and its specific needs. If you are able to provide your lovebird with the daily attention and interaction they need, they may not require a second lovebird as a companion. However, if you are unable to provide this level of attention, a second lovebird can be a good option to provide socialization and companionship. What are the different types of lovebirds? There are nine recognized species of lovebirds, the peach-faced lovebird, fisher's lovebird, masked lovebird, nyasa lovebird, red-faced lovebird, black-cheeked lovebird, abyssinian lovebird, madagascan lovebird, and yellow-collared lovebird. The peach-faced lovebird is the most common species kept as a pet and is known for its bright green body and peach-colored face. Fisher's lovebirds are smaller than peach-faced lovebirds and have a green body with a blue breast and a bright orange-red face. Masked lovebirds are named for the black mask around their eyes and have a green body with a blue breast and a bright orange-red face. Nyasa lovebirds have a green body with a blue breast and a bright orange-red face and are native to the southeastern region of Africa. Red-faced lovebirds have a green body with a bright red face and are native to the eastern and central regions of Africa. Black-cheeked lovebirds have a green body with a black face and are native to the western region of Africa. Abyssinian lovebirds have a green body with a blue breast and a bright orange-red face and are native to the eastern region of Africa. Madagascan lovebirds have a green body with a blue breast and a bright orange-red face and are native to the island of Madagascar. Yellow-collared lovebirds have a green body with a yellow collar and a bright orange-red face and are native to the eastern region of Africa. Overall, there is a wide variety of lovebird species, each with its own unique appearance and characteristics. Which type of lovebird is your favorite? Let us know in the comments below! Do lovebirds bite? Lovebirds can bite if they feel threatened or frightened. They may also bite if they are not handled properly or if they are not used to being handled. However, with proper socialization and handling, lovebirds can learn to trust their owners and become less prone to biting. To prevent biting, it is important to handle lovebirds gently and with respect. Avoid grabbing or squeezing them, and be careful not to startle them. It is also a good idea to give your lovebird plenty of time to get used to being handled before attempting to pick them up or hold them. If your lovebird does bite, it is important to remain calm and not react aggressively. Instead, calmly remove your hand from the bird's reach and give them some space. Avoid punishing your lovebird for biting, as this can lead to further aggression and may make the problem worse. Overall, with proper socialization and handling, lovebirds can be very affectionate and loving pets and are not prone to biting. How to train a lovebird? Training a lovebird requires patience, consistency, and positive reinforcement. To begin training your lovebird, start with simple behaviors such as stepping up onto a perch or coming to a specific location. Use treats and positive reinforcement to reward your lovebird for performing the desired behavior. A clicker can be a useful tool to mark the exact moment your lovebird performs the desired behavior and immediately reward them with a treat. Keep training sessions short, around 5 to 10 minutes and be consistent in your rewards to help your lovebird understand the behavior you are reinforcing. 
be patient with your lovebird and don't get discouraged if they don't learn a new behavior right away. With consistent training and positive reinforcement, your lovebird will eventually learn the desired behavior. Thank you for watching our video about lovebirds as pets. We hope you enjoyed learning about these delightful and affectionate birds and that you now have a better understanding of what it takes to care for a lovebird. If you liked this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We would also love to hear your thoughts and experiences with lovebirds, so please leave us a comment below.